Hello everyone, how you doing today? It's such a beautiful day in Nashville, I decided to come outside this afternoon for a little bit. Um, I want to talk to you guys about a, uh, a system related to the guitar that you've heard of before. Uh, this is kind of more for the beginner guitar player and songwriters out there, if you're a guitar playing songwriter. Um, it's the caged system, C-A-G-E-D. And the reason it's called the caged system is because it's based on five open chords. By open, I mean open strings are included in the chords. Um, first one would be C chord, then A chord, then your G chord, then your E chord, then your D. Now, they call it caged because uh, that spells a word, I'm assuming. <laughs> when I was coming up and learning this stuff, we didn't actually refer to it as the cage system. We just we just talked about it in other ways. But uh, at any rate, it's C A G E D, and it just so happens to fall. Um, if you start with the C, that they each one of the letters in the word are a descending chord. You got a C down a minor third to A, minor third being three half tones, then down a whole step. G, then a minor third down to D, I'm sorry, E, then another whole step down to D. So you'll find all kinds of uh, interesting patterns like this when you start setting the guitar neck. And the only reason I'm beginning to talk about this, I'm planning on putting out a, a system about caged that just kind of starts with these basic concepts and basically blows it out from there to how you can use this in everything from uh, soloing. Uh, people think, well, you know, it's just about chords. Well, I don't care that much about chords. I want to play leads. Well, C, A, then G. that comes out of looking at chord patterns and chord formations in your mind. And so uh, you'll notice um, another reason they call it C-A-G-E-D is because you can, uh, okay, so you're going down to get to those in the open position, that if you take those same formations and instead of playing them all in the same position, you take them up the neck take C open to A, but now you play it at the third fret with a bar, that's another C chord. Then you go up to the, uh, instead of going down to the G, you go C, A, up the neck again to G position, to the fifth position, and you have the G chord is now a C chord. This, uh, this old Gibson gets a little out of tune up the neck, so forgive me. Then, uh, whereas down here, C, A, G, we go to E, here you go, C, A, G, E, at the 8th fret, you have the E position there, see, same chord I'm playing there, just roll it right up there, and then for the D, the final one, uh, C, A, G, E, D, up at the 10th fret, so you can see how this would be incredibly useful. Um, when you're looking at moving uh, around the neck for you know different purposes, it could be for getting your fingers up the neck. Now, for soloing, that kind of thing, or just in songwriting as well, uh, this is, can be incredibly useful. Of course, another I'll, I'll, I plan to have a thing about using capos for songwriting, which is the easiest way to use the cage system. <laughs> but uh, but it's good to know how to play a bar chord or two as well. And you'll notice the only two chords that you may be familiar with as falling in the same basic ballpark as C, A, G, and D, and that I didn't mention there are B and F. And the reason being that uh, there's not really any easy way, well that's not necessarily true, but the reason being is that these two chords actually are part of the reason they call it the cage system because now you have your B chord here that you're familiar with probably at the second fret, which you can do different variations of. You'll notice it's the same as your A chord just moved up two frets or two half steps or a whole step. So 
that's how we come across our B. And then, of course, your F chord is just an E chord where you use your first finger on the first fret as a bar chord instead of the nut playing those open strings. Now your first finger plays those open strings and they're no longer open, they're barred. So. <laughs> and then of course, you can move that on the F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B flat, either one, B and C, which is, gets us back to our original. Anyway, that's the basics and I don't want to uh, belabor it in this video. I'm trying to make these short and digestible. But I plan on taking that concept, which you can find a gazillion videos online about this concept. It's not anything new. It's actually probably one of the oldest um, concepts related to the guitar. And, uh, but at any rate, I think I might have a couple of, um, I don't know, a couple fresh ideas about how to use it in certain ways. Songwriting, sorry I'm kicking a bee with my foot down there. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's the basic the basics of it though. C A G E D cage system and um, I'm planning to get back to you with a little more on that eventually here. So thanks for listening and thanks for putting up with the cars and the mowers in the background. Y'all have a wonderful day.